Hey everyone! Oh my gosh, it feels so good to be back filming. I have not like done a sit down video or like a video in weeks it feels like. It might not feel like that for you, but all of my videos previous to this were all pre-recorded and for the past like three and a half weeks I've been working so hard and so much and I haven't really had time to film anything. So I kind of feel like I've been MIA, but maybe I haven't been to you guys, I don't know. But I really am super excited to come at you with another fall haul, of course. Fall fashion is my obsession, and I just have a lot to show you. And there's bits and pieces that I've already worn and posted on Instagram, and then I have more from Zoffel, because after I posted my Zoffel haul video, they hit me up, they're like, girl, you know you still have like five or six pieces coming to you, I was like, Oh my gosh, I didn't realize that. I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm going to include those into another video. And then Shein and Romwe also hit me up and asked me if I would like to pick out a couple items from their website, which I've never ordered anything from them before. So we will see how that goes. You guys know I'm totally, completely honest when it comes to things that are sent to me. And this is, for the most part, besides one shirt from Zoffel, I haven't tried on anything and it's going to be a first impressions video, but there was one top from Zoffel that I really wanted to wear to the Rihanna Fenty clothing line launch party for fall winter 2018 and it looked so cute but I have worn it a couple times so I'll be posting pictures if I have worn anything on the screen somewhere and I'm also going to be trying things on with you for the first time too as well I have something from Target new look and something from Amazon so before I jump into the haul if you guys happen to be new here welcome my name is Lisa and I do a ton of fashion videos obviously so if you clicked on this because you love fashion as much as I do then I think we should be friends and if you'd like then hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that I upload. I also have an Instagram and that's where you can head over and check out everything that I talk about here basically on my channel styled and you could see a lot of outfit of the day pictures there and just a bunch of fashion related posts. So check it out if you haven't already. So I'm just going to go ahead and start off with the bits and pieces that I've already worn um, and the first thing is this blazer that I am so obsessed with and I'm pretty sure this is not a unique piece in anybody's fall haul. Everybody has a check blazer now for a good reason. I think that this is an amazing trend Trend. even though it's such a classic timeless piece when I used to think of like a check blazer I always thought of like very you know office wear and then of course when you know you see these amazing fashion bloggers and fashion influencers pop them on over like band tees and you know very casual outfits it just spoke to me on all kinds of levels so I wanted to get myself one there was one for my fall wish list video that I really wanted and I still really want that one but I was walking through Target and came across this one if you follow me on Instagram I'm pretty sure you have seen me post all about it and talk all about it on my Instagram stories so this is it. it's just so cute and the quality of it is amazing it's lined it has really good stitching I literally saw it and I at first I was looking at it and I was like okay maybe that is one of like the more workwear ones which is perfectly fine too I was actually looking at some like really proper like you know mature women clothing lines where they would have check blazers and I was really close to getting one but I liked that this one was kind of like the oversized boyfriend fit at first I was gonna get the US 6 it fit me perfect with a little looseness and then I was like you know what no I want room for a long sleeve underneath and it to be a little bit baggier than that so I went for the US 8 so I would say if you want it to fit perfectly then go with your true size if you want it to be a little bit baggier than it already is then go up and if you want it to be really fitted go down a size so I really love it I love the red piping detail throughout it and I think it's like the perfect checked blazer and for the price point it was it was a steal next thing I'm going to be sharing with you guys are a pair of boots that I picked up from newlook.com and I came across these because I literally just googled lug sole chunky chelsea boot and that's something that i love to purchase every like few years for weather and i wanted a faux leather pair this time because i have spent a lot of money on real leather ones and i like to wear these in the rain because they have a rubber sole and i've just thrashed them so i wanted to find like a faux leather pair and i came across these and i am so in love they are so stinking comfortable they have a really chunky thick you know block heel and then it has a pretty thick tread sole kind of platform at the front so you kind of don't feel too much of the heel they're so incredibly comfortable these are probably my most comfortable boots 
even over like my Mark Fisher flat, basically flat boots. So I love these. I got so many compliments on them and I've worn them maybe like 10 times. Like I can't stop wearing them. They look so amazing with jeans that have a raw hem. They look amazing with straight leg jeans. I've worn them with a dress and like a long oversized flannel. You guys know I'm totally into the 90s grunge look. This style happens to be super on trend at the moment. So it was very easy for me to come across these, but this is a style that I like to keep in rotation in my wardrobe because it does speak to my personal style anyway so prior to this year they used to be really difficult to find like a really good pair I know Doc Martin used to make a really amazing pair I am so in love with these I think they were $29.99 in euros and then it got to be converted to around with shipping and tax to like around 54 bucks 50 something which I think was pretty good that's kind of like the same price as a faux leather pair of boots from Zara so I just sort of looked at it like that Zara does have one really good pair of these which actually Mishy has them and I think she got them a few weeks ago so I'm pretty sure they still have them I'll link those below for you guys too and these and if you are loving like the Chelsea you know chunky boot look they also have one that's really similar to the Louis Vuitton ones but they're completely black, obviously. I love the Louis ones. I definitely love the Louis ones. I do have a weakness for those boots, but I don't know. There's just something about a good, just staple, all black grunge pair for me. It always has been a staple for me, especially in the weather. There's always times where I want to have a little bit of a heel, even though it's like muggy out or rainy, and I just feel cute in them. So I really love these. Next up is the most amazing Baker Boy hat that I found in all black. I feel like every single time that I would find one from like Instagram because an influencer that I really like that I follow, I would like go to the link and they're always sold out. And I guess I'm really picky with Baker Boy hats because I do have a real vintage one somewhere in my house and I'm actually moving like in a month and if I don't find it I know it's lost forever I will have no idea where it is so I I've been really really picky about Baker Boy hats because I know I have a good one somewhere but anyways I came across this one from Amazon and I am so obsessed I am so obsessed because it has really really cute detailing here with you know lace and then you have the rope detail and then you have these antique gold buttons and i feel like a lot of the buttons that i've been seeing on the black ones sorry that like washed me out a lot of the buttons that i've been seeing on the black ones were either too bright or they looked like plastic and these actually maybe they are plastic but they don't look plastic they look like an antique gold brushed button it's called american classics like i don't know it's just made really well i really like it, it was 17 bucks you can get it in either i think extra small medium through medium or large through extra large now i measured my head and i was the size that it said to get the large extra large and it's kind of big on me it's kind of like loose like i have a lot of space like i don't know if you guys could see that but i could stick probably both of my hands in here at the same time like i have a lot of space like i think i'm going to order the next size down but it fits comfortably when my hair is curly because then it's like taking up the space in the hat and then when i wear my hair straight like this i think it looks a little big but it's comfortable so i would say i don't know what i would say actually i guess get your true size i maybe i measured my head wrong but i am going to end up having both sizes because i do wear my hair curly and i also do wear my hair straight and the price was seven it was like 17.99 so i don't mind buying it twice i just think it's such a good one and it just looks really cute it looks really cute right now i don't know I really like it. I love the detailing on it. So since I technically never finished my Zoffel haul and I have a bag half ripped open and a shirt that's already on a hanger because I've worn it already, I'm just going to continue next with the Zoffel stuff. And this is a top that I remembered that it was coming because I just thought they didn't, they weren't going to send me some of the stuff. And I wasn't going to be like, hey, you guys forgot five or six pieces because they were giving me stuff. They were gifting me these things. So I didn't want it to, I didn't want to sound like, hey, where's the rest of my, you know what I mean? So I didn't say anything. And then when I found out they were actually sending me more stuff, uh, I felt so bad because I already posted the video, but I was so excited because I knew this shirt was coming and I did want it for that event and it came perfect timing the day before. Um, and it is this lace blouse. Look how cute this is. It has like the ruffle detailing on the arms here. It has a high neck here, which is elastic. And it has elastic at the bottom of the sleeves here. It is so stinking cute. So the day of the Rihanna clothing line launch party, I wore it with high-waisted, really wide leg, kind of track pant pants that were more fitted and they were old Zara ones from like a few years ago and then I also wore like a black lacy cropped cami underneath the pants and the 
and the cami met at the same spot. It wasn't showing any stomach or anything like that. It looked so cute. And I wore my lug sole new look boots that you couldn't really see because the pants were so wide leg. But when you kind of saw the track sole walking, when I was walking, it looked really, really cool. And I don't know. I just felt on point. I really love this top. I also wore this last weekend to my boyfriend's events that he had to do. And it was also my friend's birthday that night and she had her birthday at the event. So that was really, really fun. So I'll post a picture of me here from that night. And I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it from my Instagram. So I am really, really obsessed with this. This is so far, I mean, unless there's another piece in this pile that I'm obsessed with, this is so far that one type of piece that I'm going to go buy a second one of because I don't want anything to happen to it. It's that perfect like jeans and like a tank top underneath and some heels and you're good to go for like a night out or a dinner. I don't know. I just really, really am digging this shirt. I'm actually going to, I think it comes in another color. So I'm going to actually check to see if it does and get another color plus this again in black. So I am going to actually purchase this with my own money. I'm really, really happy with it. Okay. So now we are going into to, you know, kind of, I, I barely have seen anything from the awful stuff. I literally just looked for that shirt and pulled it out. So I haven't really looked at anything else. And then we're just going to, I'm kind of going to just do a first impressions with you for the awful stuff, the Shein and the Romwe stuff. So the first thing that I see here is some of the stuff I did kind of forget what I ordered. This is a poncho, I think, right? really soft oh my goodness okay no weird smell so far so good it's really soft it's this big black and gray this is going to be a horrible way to show you guys but it's like a long it's not a scarf I don't know how to explain it but it has you'll see it on me it has an opening to put on your neck and you just throw this over your arms and it's so cozy I pictured wearing this with like a black long sleeve like thermal that's like long that covers my like a long long like men's black thermal with leggings over the knee boots and then throw this over I think that's really chic McGeek and I don't know let's just pop this on and see what it looks like okay so this guy goes like this oh I like this I mean obviously this is a one size you know fits all situation and it's just really really soft it's really soft I love the coloring I actually like it with a t-shirt and jeans I don't know I really like it and it has the cute tassels on the end of it cute I love things that are cozy like this let's see if I can make it more of like a scarf if I don't want it more of like a poncho look let's see what that looks like hmm it's definitely if you're into the oversized huge scarves that's kind of it's kind of cool kind of have to like play with it a little bit I definitely love the coloring and I like that this side has like the gray and then this side has you know the black and you could wear it I think reversible because it doesn't look like it's inside out or anything like that I like the blocking the color blocking a lot cute I really like this definitely gonna come through on those chilly days Next up in the Zoffel bag, ooh, okay, this I remember. I'm so excited, I really hope this looks cute. Of course it's stripes, you guys know I have like a stripe addiction at the moment. This is a black and white striped cardigan with red detailing on it that has, look how cute, the black and red sleeves. It's like very collegial, like this looks like a referee, a chic referee <laughs> cardigan, I don't know. It's just really cute, it's long has a little bit of a funny smell but I feel like it's not it's not terrible I am so excited to try this let's try this so this I was like super super excited about let's see how this looks okay uh I like it I like it I don't hate it it's kind of thin this was a one size type of situation let me see if I can get more centered for you guys up on my bed and it hits like it barely covers my butt it has these tiny little pockets right here I love the red detailing on this sweater feels kind of warm it's a little itchy but it's cute it's really cute so next is a striped shirt that I don't um, oh yeah 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 I remember okay okay the fabric is kind of papery but it feels lightweight like maybe like a nice cool 
papery feeling. It's just a cropped black and white little button up top stripes, of course. And I believe they pictured it so that the front here was tied. So we'll see how that looks. But I don't know, I thought this was really, really cute. I don't know if the fabric's gonna bother me. This totally depends on how it looks, but let's pop this on. Okay, so next up I have this black and white striped number. Probably would wear these with more of a high-waisted pant. And it's really cute. I'm not really a fan of the fabric, just to be completely honest. I think it feels really cheap and papery, but for the weight of it, like I feel like it's nice and cool. Like, does that make sense? Like I don't feel like I'd get really hot in this fabric. It's a cool, thin fabric, but I really, really like the pattern and I just think it's super cute. I think it'll look really cute with, of course, my black high-waisted Levi's wedgie fit jeans. I'm probably tie this i'm not going to tie it right now because these pants are more of a mid-rise and we don't want to show anyone my midriff um but yeah i really like this i think i don't know i think it's something i could definitely wear even in the springtime because it's really thin so yeah cute okay last but not least in the zoffel bag is a pair of earrings that i am so excited about probably just as excited for these as i was for that lace top and to be honest with you, I was going to wear these that night too, but I was just in such a rush that I, I forgot that these were even in the bag. So these are super cute. So they're mismatch earrings, and I'll show you them. Oh, it's so cute. It's a moon and a star, and then the star has a hoop hanging from it, and the moon has this, like, sphere hanging from it. Oh my god, this is so, so, these are so cute. I don't really, I don't think I have to try these on, but I think these are going to, maybe I'll try them on. I think they're just going to look super duper cute. Let's put them on now, actually. Okay, what do we think, you guys? How cute. Oh, I absolutely love these. Love, love, love. What do you guys think? Okay, so moving on to Shein. They offered me two items, and so did Rome Wheat. So I'm just going to, I, you know, cut open the bag to make this quicker. I'm just going to pull this out and okay this I remember I am so in love with this but I'll explain this is a red and white striped long sleeve shirt and yes it is a total total comme des garçons um I think I'm saying that right comme des garçons comme des garçons um kind of dupe I mean technically it's not a knockoff it doesn't say comme des garçons on it on it anywhere but how cute is this where's waldo top now i did see this on the website in i think black and white and the black and white one didn't have the patch and then i saw that it came in red red and white so i initially was attracted to this because it was just a red and white striped top but then i noticed the red and white one had this and i was like oh well f it like i want a red and white striped top so of course it's striped another striped item and i think this will look so cute tucked into high-waisted jeans of course like high-waisted ripped up jeans with oh my gosh and the baker boy hat is that too am i gonna look like i'm going to france this is so stinking cute let's try it on this top oh my gosh i am obsessed with this top it's so cute it feels a lot thicker than your average cotton long sleeve this feels like really good quality and i feel like it'll keep me warm i could even just wear even like a thin jacket with this on cold days and on slightly chilly days i could wear this on its own i'm not even kidding you it's like nice and thick and so cute so wears waldo chic i think it'll look cute tucked into jeans but i also really like the way it looks with just these jeans i think it's a cute little look i could do even like a front tuck with these I don't know i love this this is so far my favorite next up from shein are a pair of pants you guys know that i've been wanting a wide leg just simple black trouser i really wanted a cropped pair again for my wish list actually a week ago i went to go order them and they they didn't have my size and i was so annoyed and then i saw this morning they restocked them so hopefully they're still there i don't know if these are going to work out because these and by the way the red and white striped shirt i got a large in and everything from Zoffel that I was able to choose a size in, I got in a large as well. These I got in a large because I felt like, well, first of all, I'm definitely a large in the tush area. Um, but I do have a feeling, 
Oh my god, I thought the zipper was broken. It's not. I do have a feeling it's going to be too big on, big on my waist because they're high-waisted. So depending on how these look, I will show you what they look like. If I don't show you what they look like, then that means they were bad. So next up is Romwe's stuff. And I ordered two things from them. Oh, I hope this looks cute. This is like a black and white polka dot or a black top with white polka dot shirt with ruffle sleeves. Look how cute this is. It looks navy. It's not navy. Um, but it's black with the white polka dots and the, what are these called? Ruffled Trump trumpet sleeves at the end. And it's kind of, it's not really cropped. It's sort of normal and it goes lower in the back. So yeah, and it has a zipper in the back as well. So let's try this on. So next we have this top, which is really, I'm really disappointed. I'm so upset because this could have been super cute. Like it looks cute and I could have just lied and said, oh my God, this is so cute. Cause it looks cute on camera. I cannot move my arms forward. Like I literally am stuck. I don't know if you guys could see, but look how tight it's getting on my arms. I literally, it's not, I feel like I'm wearing it backwards even though I know it's not backwards. And it's just, I don't know, it's like baggy in the wrong areas, tight in the wrong areas. It just sucks. Like this would be cute for photos, I guess, because it looks okay on camera, but it's so uncomfortable. Ugh, I'm so bummed, because this would have been a really cute, like fun going out blouse with jeans and heels or cute with jeans and sneakers. And it, the fabric is not bad at all. It's actually really nice. I don't want to call them fat fat, but I have bigger arms than the rest of like my upper body. And I feel like sometimes that's why I struggle with things, but I don't think like it fits my arms perfectly fine. It's just when I do this, like it's even too wide for me up here. I don't know if you guys could see that. It's, it's just ill-fitting. It's It wasn't made correctly, I feel like. Like I could pull it down and it feels more comfortable. And then when I pull it up, Oh my god, this is driving me nuts because it's so cute, but it just, it doesn't feel good. And last but not least is the last thing from Romwe, and it is a crew neck sweatshirt that I really hope looks cute because this was so cute. It's very collegial. I like this whole collegial look right now. Um, and this I got in a large too. This looks so tiny. I'm sorry, but this is not a large. I don't know to who. This is a large but this is not a large this is so tiny and i will say it looks cheap it looks cheap like i like i don't like when the pattern doesn't finish on the other side not that i expected it to but at least it didn't this looks like felt was like glued together we'll try it on at least it's fuzzy on the inside i can't stand when i order like sweatshirts or sweat like pants and it's that terry cloth like it feels like a towel on the inside and it's not fuzzy like soft and cozy so at least it's soft and cozy i don't know maybe i'll keep it to like work out and i don't know we'll see it let's pop it on okay next i have this i'm actually shocked that i even got it on my body it looked really small not on me but <sighs> I don't know again one of those things where it looks cute on camera but I'm not gonna lie it's just not that comfortable like look how short the sleeves are and I have short arms okay like usually things are like I have to get them altered and <laughs> look how short the sleeves are like it's just it's weird I mean maybe that's intentional I don't know it fits my waist down here but it's a lot snugger on the waist than it would be than it is like in the stomach area I don't know. And by the way, sorry if you guys can hear my fan. It is so hot with this ring light. I had to turn on the fan, but ugh, what a disappointment. Okay, you guys. So that was it. That was the last of my fall haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And also quickly, quick mention, the pants looked really bad on me. I, did, I didn't even want to look up. I couldn't show you on camera so we're falling off of my waist and they were like skin tight on my legs it was really disturbing and then like trumped out at the bottom not cute I don't like them maybe somebody with this different silhouette could pull them off and they're really really sheer and see-through so I just didn't want to show you guys on camera but I don't like them so I'm definitely not keeping those and probably my next least favorite piece is the stuff from Rome we. Uh the polka dot shirt was kind of too tight to like move my arms forward and the sweatshirt I definitely wouldn't have ordered if I knew it kind of looked like that it's cute to like work out in and I guess just lounge in but 
yeah, if, if I had to say the worst three pieces were definitely the pants from Shein and the, the two tops from Romwe, but I love everything from Zoffel, and I definitely love that red and white shirt from Shein. It's so cute so so cute so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and give it a big thumbs up if you did anyways thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video you guys and i will see you guys next time bye Mwah.